Hey guys, this is uh, Michael Banks uh, with another quick uh, Maya tutorial. This time I'm going over the 12 principles of, um, of animation. Okay, here there we are, our 12 principles. Now I'm going to keep this fairly short and sweet because there are 12 principles and uh, they take a bit of, bit of time simply to get through them. So let's start out with the, uh, the most pr basic principle that we learn and that's squash and stretch. Okay, so here is a very simple animation without any squash and stretch, okay? There's a character and a ball coming behind him. Now you notice in this one the character lands there. Now he's landing quite hard, but there's no squash and stretch involved, okay? Boom, he's just hitting the ground. Okay, so let's move to the next one. Um, bring that one up. I'm just going to actually make these a bit taller. Okay, squash and stretch, a little bit of squash and stretch. Let's have a look. There we go. You can really see it starting to happen now. Just scrub back there a little bit. Look at those. Look at those legs. Whoa. Massive squash happening. Sorry, stretch. Massive stretch. Stretching down and squashing and stretching as he takes off. Okay, so you can see how a simple principle by squash and stretch really adds a nice bit of appeal to a shot. Once again, we'll be touching on appeal later on, as it's once again one of the animation principles. So, let's move on. That's with a basketball. So, something to take note of here, guys, is remember your gravity and weight. Think about weight, gravity, and your center of gravity. Center of gravity is around the area around here, around the hips, that's your C of G. Remember to take that into account when you're animating, okay? Because the center of gravity is where everything should pivot from and move from, squash and stretch. There you go. Let's come, now let's add squash and stretch to a, uh, to a character animation, to facial animation. So this is very linear. It still looks quite appealing and nice. There's nice eye blinks happening, she's got a nice, smirk on her face here she's turning that's quite nice the gestures not a bad little animation but let's take that up a notch a little bit of squash and stretch in there there we go did you see that look at that oh pulling it over let's go to the final and whoa got a real See that? Motion blur in there too, guys. Boom. Boom. Okay. Hmm. The head's compressing a little bit. Squashing a little bit. I mean, sorry, stretching a little bit there. Using the jaw a lot. Oh, and then settles. Settles towards the end. Oh, settling in. And still looking, ooh, okay. Okay, that's squash and stretch. Anticipation, one of my favorites. Where will we be without good old anticipation? So this is totally no anticipation, and it's very linear. Watch when the boy first moves. He's just going straight back, straight back. Or oh, just a little bit, and then boom. Bang, straight forwards. And look at the girl. She just takes off screen right as the young boy tries to peck her on the cheek. Boom, she's gone. Okay, that's absolutely no anticipation in there. Let's add a little bit of anticipation. Whoop, very slight. Look at the girl here. Just around here. Oh, a little bit screen left she moves to her right and then takes off. I like how the her left knee, her left foot is raised and then she's... Oh, Going into the movement, we're thinking about that center of gravity, the hips as they start to fall, screen right, and off she goes. Now, let's go full anticipation. This is great. Whoa, off screen right. Watch the boy as well. Leans right back. And there's a nice bit of arc, arcing in his motion. He'll lean back. Look at that. Look at the boy just here. And once again, whoop, 
there we go and she's gone she comes right in look at the foot here her left foot it's really pulled right in okay almost swaying around her a little wrapped around her as she gets that momentum to drive off Whoa. see you later fantastic okay let's go on to silhouette here guys silhouette's important in your first two passes you can set up silhouette quite nicely in your first blocking stage stages so stage one is silhouette the arms yeah mm. now the end's just coming straight down here you can't really tell what he's doing at all here very difficult you don't know what's happening in that shot like he's probably falling asleep yeah but then what about in between this what's happening now no idea okay let's go to the actual here it is again silhouette turned off but exactly the same poses he's obviously got something stuck he's looking for something what is it i'll grab my pen okay and then you might notice oh the pen's coming out his nose it's quite a funny little animation actually so now we're going to go with a much better silhouette okay let's have a look so look at that just straight from the start see the pencil or the pen the hand okay both arms are sort of out a little bit okay and oh what the there we go look at this bit of a profile on the head here and you can see the pencil or pen stuck up his nose a little bit oh look at that one just back up look at that see it's much better it's much better read and then we'll come back and then that's not a very good read but his hands are out oh i've started this again sorry about that let's just catch up here Oop. and then what the and then here okay we actually get the read of the pencil coming out here nice silhouette on the action rather than keeping it all straight inside here where you cannot really read it so well it's just too much noise happening in the center area very difficult to read okay so silhouette helps with reading the character's actions and here we go here's the final piece okay and here we get nice silhouette fantastic let's move on pose to pose and secondary action what do we got here oh okay she's going to do looks like a blocking pass we're going to go through all your different poses which we're using pose to pose animation that's what we're doing we're not doing a linear we're doing pose to pose we're going through four different phases okay so what do we get here's our blocking pass boom 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 nice strong poses look at those strong poses play that again boom 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 so that's probably first pass she's he's the animators we're getting the timing correct here okay let's go to the next one now we've moved out of blocking getting a feel for the timing fixing some of those poses getting a few arcs happening and the final piece with secondary action you'll see the ponytail etc all in motion look at that foot let's just play this one again get a bit of re a better read on this here we go watch that left foot boom boom that ponytail oh fantastic pose to pose can't beat it secondary action love it next up bit of overlap let's check out the overlap ah uh, this is one of my favorites follow through and overlap no overlap happening very linear very rigid in his in his back and head no neck movement at all it's, just, it's going to be pretty well the same walk cycle we're looking at above the torso above the waistline the arms um, even the fishing rod and his secondary um, uh, props here all helping okay let's go again just so you can see that stretch it out a bit okay 
And let's run with the final piece. Oh, sorry. Next, a bit of an improvement here. Okay, we're starting to see a bit of sway happening. Still quite rigid in the um, upper body, though. He's still a bit rigid. Even though the head's bobbing, he's still a bit rigid. A lot better, though. And now we run with the final piece. Look at that. Much better. A nice motion all the way through. Okay, guys. Slow in and slow out. You can't beat the good old slow in and slow out. So here, we've got a seesaw. The two kids are jumping on the seesaw. And here you're going to have the slow, slow in. Okay. Or ease in and ease out, I like to call it. Not so much slow in, slow out. Ease in, or sorry, ease out, ease in. So he's going to jump, so it's going to easing out, then easing in as he lands. Boom, he'll land and come down. Okay, then you'll see the girl. Boom, she's taken off. It's not a linear boom straight up. Okay, so let's have a look at that. It's quite difficult to see ease in and ease out, but it's subtle, but it makes a huge difference to your animation. Now, this is fantastic little piece here. This is showing us each representation. On the left, a totally linear approach with no in ease, no ease in or ease out. Uh, they call it slow in, slow out, but very linear. Okay, and I like these little designs, the little arcs, sorry, the little um, splines. Okay, your tangents. Here, you're seeing the slow in. It's coming into it. Okay, coming into the animation. And slow out, whoomp. This is what you'll be doing in your graph editor. And slow in and out. Put an S. Okay, let's play this. Whoops. It's fairly quick. It's a very quick piece, but if you start comparing these two, like look at this linear one compared to, oh, this is the progression all the way through, but if you compare this one to the final piece, huge difference. Let's look, let's look again at this. Notice that, go again. All I'm looking at is this one here and the final piece. Let's go. Nice. Okay, get an idea. So here we go with an actual animation. Slow in, slow out, or ease in, ease out. Try the next one. Whoop, notice that. Okay, I'm not going to repeat these guys because uh, I'd like to upload them. You guys can just scrub the timeline yourselves inside YouTube. Next one. Boom, boom, wow, fantastic. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look at arcs. I think it's a ping pong, play a bit of ping pong. Yep, so no arcs at all. Just quite linear action here. Look at the ping pong bat if you really need to. But you can see the fairly straight lines with the animation. Okay, now we've added arcs, but it's the same animation. Still very linear. See how the lines are quite straight here. You got, of course, your turns. He's got to turn a little bit, but it's still fairly straight in the actions. Now we're going to add some arcs. This is much smoother, much nicer. You've got your arcs happening here. Look at that bat. It's sort of curving around here. Okay, like almost figure of eight sort of thing. Here it is with the motion trails. See that? Look at that. Warm. There's our final. Whoops. Okay. Let's try secondary actions. Secondary actions such as a pon ponytail. So she's just looking through the book. Not much happening there. Nice bit of appeal, how she licks her finger as she turns the page, not just simply turning the page. I like the eye darts, making good use of eye darts. No eye blinking, 
but there are eye darts in that piece. So let's go a bit of an improvement here. You're seeing the little ponytail happening. Okay, and the fingers. And the final piece, the little foot tap. You see that? So there we go, the ponytail was moving in that one as well. Next up, timing. It's all about timing, get that timing right. Yeah, this one is uh, showing you timing, time and space. Okay, space over time, for example, if your character's only two centimeters tall, he's gonna be crossing a short space, he might be able to move a lot quicker. Okay, um, whereas if he's a giant, it's gonna take him a lot longer to get to the other side. Hence, we see a lot of giants in films and they're quite lumbersome and moving quite slow. So let's have a look, because it's all about physics. Once again, think about your gra gravity and your center of gravity in the hips. So that's just the boy moving through with no, not too much. Well, the time is quite sort of nice. Having said that, it needs to slow down for the size of this um, environment. Here we come, a lot slower. Boom, boom, boom. Comes down, picks up the car. That car's probably got a little bit of weight to it. He might have and just tosses it off. Okay, see you later. And then our final piece. Oi, maybe even add some rumble in here. Comes up. Even his blink was quite slow. Slow blinks as well. Okay, exaggeration. This is a fairly stock standard walk cycle. Not much, very, very rigid. Watch this in the torso. I mean, straight through this line here. Absolutely nothing happening. Yeah, very rigid, very woody, we like to call it. We like to say in the animation industry. Very woody looking animation. This one, yeah, it's a bit better. He's got a bit of a character happening. Not too bad. Once again, we're exaggerating here, guys. Let's push it. We're pushing it, pushing the animation. Okay, when we talk time and space, we often like to tighten the animation, means make it quicker. I talk about tightening it up. When we talk about pushing the animation, you start to exaggerate things a bit, and a really nice, well-made rig, you can push it a fair bit. That's what you'll hear in the industry. Push those extreme poses. Whoa, that's to the max over the top, actually. But you get the idea, okay? And line of action, line of action. Here we go, she's looking up and over. We're looking for nice S curves here. And takes a bit of getting used to, but here we go, line of action. Okay, that's what we're talking about. Look at this end. This line of action where she's got her arms out, looking up slightly, it's not very appealing, is it? Okay, I'm using the term appeal, but we are talking about line of action here. This line of action is much nicer. Flick those little wrists, and she's looking up, so bring the action up to a flick. See that? She's looking up this way. Nice line of action. Let's just check out this one. Very plain. Whoops. So there. Look at this. See a bit of a curve happening there, not just straight up and down. This one here, once again, very plain here, straight through. Let's get some curve happening here. Yeah. Once again, a bit of a curve in the spine. Much more appealing. It's just a nice look. Rather than the hand dropping down here, bad silhouette. Line of action is all about nice silhouette too, guys. Look at that. The angle of the, the foot here compared to here. And there we go. Okay. You get the idea? Here we go. Oh. Let's try the final one. Clap, clap looking up okay and our final principle appeal 
where would we be without a peel? Okay. Here, a young boy is cracking an egg. So we've got two samples, a very simple, crack the egg, get it in and cook it, and check out the cookbook. Mm -hmm. Done it all right. Play that one again, just one more time. So a simple action, cut, get the job done, look over. Yep. Now let's add a bit of appeal to it. Let's think about what we can add to this. Yeah, crack that egg, drop it in. Oh, wipe the hand. Yeah, look over. Hmm, nice job. Do that one one more time. See that? Much more appealing, isn't it? Okay, guys, so um, that's it. Um, hope this helps you as you uh, venture deeper and deeper into animation. Um, I'm sure you'll be able to come up with some nice looking shots. It's all about time and spacing. And it's all about um, taking your time when you're actually animating. Don't get too frustrated. Once again, you're working pose to pose. Get your first two passes out. Get out of um, blocked key poses. Once you're into linear, in your third pass, then you can start adding nice arcs, etc. And then you'll be moving into uh, ease in and ease out in your fourth pass and adding your appeal. Okay. Um, yeah. Happy animating.